Aquarius, welcome to the Violet Realm. I'm so glad you're here. I just want to say a big thank you to all the Aquariuses who have subscribed to my channel, liked and watched and sent me messages and all that stuff. I really love you guys and I'm so grateful you're here. Today I'm doing just a general energy reading for Aquarius. I'm not sure what's going to come out. There's no specific question and there's no time attached to this. So this is a timeless reading. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I do offer private readings, all that information, and my social media will be on the screen and in the description box below. So, let's begin, Aquarius. How are you guys doing? Uh, so far, you're the only stack I've done that has been guided to use the uh, Divine Feminine deck. So, uh, this is going to be interesting. It, the, the vibe here seems a little bit different than the others. So, I think big things are happening for Aquarius. This is the age of Aquarius, and Aquarians are moving, and... Um, and I mean moving as in like energetically and in their lives. There, there are changes and movement happening for Aquarius. All right. Okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Divine Mother. The Divine Mother. Unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. Yes, Aquarius. Now, you guys may be feeling really judged right now. And, uh, you know, the world can be a harsh judge of people who are different. Aquarian energy is different. You are a change agent. You are ruled by Uranus. And um, you can't help. It's your nature. I, I feel a lot of people think Aquarians can be flighty. I have Aquarian energy. So, you know, uh, my Mars is in Aquarius and my northern node's in Aquarius. So, no. Yeah, my northern node's in Aquarius. My southern node's Leo. Okay. So anyway, I have this energy. So when I say that, I'm talking to myself as well. Uh, we can come off uh, very um, <sighs> distracted or uh, uninterested. The truth is Aquarius is very interested. They're very interested in a lot of things. And their mind works on several levels at a time. And to keep things moving in their lives, they often have to have diff working on different things at different times. The problem uh, comes when Aquarians get lost in the shifting from different things instead of uh, focusing on the actual thing they're trying to do, if that makes sense. Like they get lost in the actual shifting energy of moving in and out and uh, not locking in on specific goals and dreams and things like that. So... All right, let me get some more cards here. I've been charging a couple of tarot decks, so they are ready to go. So I'm going to pull some tarot here for you guys, and we're going to find out some more. Tell me about Aquarius. The message is coming through for Aquarius. I think I'm going to get seven cards here. This is a golden tarot. I really love this deck. It's a light, it's a light infused uh, tarot deck for me. I get a lot of light codes and... Um, etheric energy here all right um i'm feeling like tired you guys are tired i get it wow you guys what the woo 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 huh. whoa no way <laughs> no way i don't know if i've ever had all these cards come out like this let's clarify this is good aquarius this is good um, uh, let me just take a minute. It's just, there's victory here. There's Empress energy with the divine mother. So we have this over, um, whelming, not whelming in a bad way, like compassionate, beautiful, nurturing energy coming forward for Aquarius. Now I feel like this could be love. Okay. Uh, we have the 10 of cups here. I'm feeling love, family, happiness, and, uh, you know, a celebration, even like a, a marriage or a celebration of, um, of commitment or a birthday. There could be, this person could be having a birthday soon. Um, let's clarify. Okay. This is great. This is great. And, uh, we have the Knight of swords here. So I feel like, I feel like there is, um, clarity coming through for you who this person is. I think you might get a message from them as well. This person is willing to, they have good stuff, okay? This is somebody who has good stuff going on, okay? Um, and they're, they're not leaving it. They're putting their good stuff that they already have going on on the side because they can do that. They can pause. I feel like this is somebody who can pause their work, okay? They can be like, you know what? I'm going to take a few days off and I'm going to go see this, see that person, see this energy, because look at that. Don't you want that? This person wants you, Aquarius. This feels very 
like a powerful, I'm willing to walk away from, and, and these cups are good. Like there's abundance here. There's love. This is a happy person. They have friends. They feel victorious, but there's something about you that causes them to want to kind of um, go on a different path. Aquarius, you may represent a different path to them. You may be very different from them. They may be um, more materialistic, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but they may work more with like money and things like that and uh, working on their abundance and being happy. I feel like this is a very jovial person who has a lot of happiness already in life, but they're it's not like they're walking away from happiness. They're putting the happiness they have on the side and they're moving towards this beautiful, elegant energy of Aquarius giving, healing the planet, mother energy, just beautiful energy here. And they, it's irresistible. This Ten of Cups is irresistible. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. They want to help you. Like this is energy of somebody who sees you as their Ten of Cups and they, they, you know, Aquarius, you may be struggling in some way that this person can help you. Okay. And they may come in and move towards you, see that you need help and and come in for you that way through helping. You may see there may be a charity here. They may be very charitable. There's something about them that um, it it what is it? endears you to them. Okay, we got two cards. I got more than two cards. We're gonna take them. All right. Okay. <laughs> wow. So this joy and happiness, this connection, is something that both of you want. You're both ma manifesting it and. The magician, this your person here has the ability to make this happen. I'm just telling you. Like, they have it together. This is somebody who has their sh together, okay? And um, the victory here is interesting because um, it's like, you can't see it. There's something about this that you can't see. You can't see this person coming or this person's in your field and you... You can't, you're not seeing it that way. Um, I'm feeling like there may be like some sneaky energy here, Aquarius, for you that this person is trying to figure out how to make this happen. This is somebody who makes things happen, okay? And they are not going to approach you until they know they can reap what they sow, okay? So they're wanting to get harvest from you. They're wanting to get good, beautiful things. They want to connect with you. This is amazing energy. Like this, this is what you want here. And um, yeah. It's really beautiful. I'm going to get some more cards. We're going to get some oracle cards now for Aquarius. A lot of happiness coming through. This is a happy person. I'm not going to take that. I'm going to shuffle this up. All right. There we go. Okay. No, that's too many. Okay. <laughs> I get it. Look at the big picture. Okay. All right, so I feel like this person that's coming in, they're really going to help you with this, uh, the work that you're doing, Aquarius, the goals that you have. Uh, many Aquarians are being activated, like spiritually activated. So they're going for their highest possible vision of their life, their highest purpose. And this person fits in, in with your higher purpose, like full moon in, in Sagittarius. So this is a very expansive energy. They may be Sagittarius. Your dreams need a practical plan. I think this person's going to come in and they're going to see that you need help maybe with being more practical in how you approach the thing you're trying to do. And this love is going to help you figure out how to make that happen because this person's good at that. They're good at making it happen, Aquarius. Yeah. Your change maker energy and their making it happen energy, Taurus, Sagittarius energy here, Virgo as well. It's going it's like power couple. It's like power couple energy. It really and truly is. Um, that one popped up. Okay. All right. One card, please. All right. Then a new romantic cycle begins. Yes. All right, so yeah, that's validation of everything we've talked about here. So definitely have um, new romantic energy coming forward for Aquarius, for this these Aquarians who resonate with this. Um, and uh, this person's going to come in, and I honestly feel like they're going to they're going to uh, what is that word? Knock you off your feet. They're going to they're going to take you off your feet. How, whatever that saying is, I can't remember exactly how it goes. However. I, with this eight of cups here, it's like, I'm feeling like he's moving in a very, and that's energy, not gender. He's moving in a very um, charming way. This is someone who's going to charm you, Aquarius. Uh, there's Libra energy here. They may be a Libra moon um, or a Libra Venus, uh, but I'm feeling a lot of charm. Uh, they may have a positive, uh, they may have a positive Venus ascent uh, 
connection at what am I looking for I'm looking for like an astrological connection from their ascent to their their Venus that makes them extremely charming okay that's what I'm trying to say and um, they're gonna come and and they're gonna see what you need they're gonna see how to make this happen and um, they're gonna see how to make you see them that way they are going to uh, come in and it's gonna feel like Aquarius like the divine has interacted has come in in your life and brought this person to you and they're going to feel like a gift and uh, they are a gift they're a gift because Aquarius is doing the work Aquarius has done a lot of work this is your time to shine it's your time to make your dreams happen Aquarius and I feel like that's what the universe wants that's what they want to bring in for you so um you know continue to be fearless okay I do get get guidance here that it's time to focus a little bit focus in on the things that are most important to you focus in on what you want to create uh, and where you want to put your energy I'm, I'm saying I'm seeing put choose three things if you have six things choose three choose reduce it by half for a while listen Aquarius it doesn't mean you can't go back later okay but this energy here this love is trying to come forward for you this ten of cups and um, It'll be helpful if you're more focused when they come in. You'll be able to see them, okay? Instead of looking at these other cups, you'll be able to see them, all right? Okay. Okay, I'm filling this one. Merkaba. I probably didn't pronounce that right. 32. The frequency of that supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Kashic inheritance as well, merging the, merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our highest purpose. So, yes, <laughs> this person is going to come in and help you with your vision, Aquarius. Um, if you're an Aquarian who's just on your uh, getting started and you really don't have a real vision yet, this person's going to help you see what it is. They're going to help bring that to you. Uh, Aquarius, I know this is, may be difficult for you, but um, having a partner during this metamorphosis you're undergoing will, will really help you. It will help you focus. It will help you um, connect deeper with spirit, and it will help you come forward more in the truth of who you are. It's really beautiful energy, and I, I'm really happy for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.